We begin with the central Gulf Coast bracing for potentially devastating flooding from what could become Hurricane Barry. Part of that storm system dumped up to nine inches of rain in three hours on parts of New Orleans yesterday. Louisiana is already under a state of emergency. Hurricane watches are in effect along the coast. Up to 10,000 people have been ordered to evacuate. This morning, severe weather watches stretch from Louisiana to Florida. And at the moment, Manuel Bajorquez is on a left heavy along the swollen Mississippi River in New Orleans. Manny, I guess the question on everyone's mind there is, are those levees expected to hold? Well, they are, but they could overtop. That's the potential here. We're talking about possibly up to 18 inches of rain coming into Louisiana this weekend. You mentioned the already swollen Mississippi River behind me. That combined with the storm surge could send the river up to 20 feet this weekend. That's the same height as some of these levees that protect the city, which was already hit by flash flooding. Lines of powerful thunderstorms dumped up to nine inches of torrential rains over New Orleans Wednesday in just three hours, turning the streets in Louisiana's biggest city into small rivers. So I guess um, I should have went home. Trapping some people inside flooded businesses and homes along the historic French Quarter. A possible tornado also touched down. I heard a big explosion-like sound and the whole bedroom was blown out and my wife and a dog were kind of they were under the rubble, but they were fine. This is crazy. But the rain is the biggest worry going forward. This neighborhood is in one of the lowest points of New Orleans, which is below sea level, so people are used to some flooding here, but they say it's becoming more and more frequent and they fear it's their new normal. There's nowhere for it to go. And that's kind of the fear of living in the bowl that we live in. Another major concern for many are the city's drainage pumps. You can look around and see they got a little twisters here and there, but every now and then they stop twisting, so the pump's not really working that good. Many of the levees got a $14 billion overhaul after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. But some have started to settle and may not provide the intended protection if water levels on the Mississippi River reach historic levels. People need to keep constant vigilance as we move through the next few days to keep an idea of what's going on. And from there, we can all stay safe. The Army Corps of Engineers says it is working to reinforce low-lying areas. The city says all but two of its drainage pumps are operational right now, but a large amount of rain in a short period of time can overwhelm any system. Michelle? Manuel, looks like you're on the West Bank. All of, of all the years I lived there, nine of them, never seen the levees that high.